Los anfomos hay que vol prises on an glory te hawa ba sham ya washai ba hasham kha kodash double no see apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well and peace and blessings to the elect and this year is ama one from the great millstone camp in Trinidad coming back to do another lesson to the holy spirit and power of yahweh ba sham ya washai all right and um yeah this lesson will be based on your belief in the heavenly father and his only begotten son will be tried immensely while you're walking in this truth and more so in the last day, in the days to come because the lord all right has a plan for his men his men have has to be tried and it's not just it's not just um if the, the the wicked ground be tried the lord grant pass all of us because the scripture say then shall it be known who am i chosen lord go and try all of us go and try us right this revelation 3 and 10 it says because thou hast kept the word of my patience i will i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth why, why what does it mean that he's going to keep us we will be in it but he will be there with us because it says in the book of um, Jeremiah, um, book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 6, it says, Asking now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it, and that is why. All right, Lord say he go keep us. When he say he go keep us, that means he go save the elect. That is the ones who are going to be kept. Kept meaning they shall be delivered. They shall be saved. Um, keep. Will keep. Now let's look it up. All right, will means terio ter, terio to, to guard to attend to carefully to take care of to guard right metaphorically to keep one in state in which he is to observe to reserve to undergo something right to guard so in other words to save to guard to, from loss injury properly keeping the eye upon we will be in it but the heavenly father will protect us because we we worked for him all right we worked for him but we don't, don't expect that you ain't going to, have to go through nothing you are you will have trials to go through but not like the world Book of Isaiah 65 and um, and um, 11 it says, But ye are they that forsake Yahweh Bashami or Shai, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword. And you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. But it, ev but it evil before mine eyes, and it choose that wherein I delighted not. Verse 12. Therefore, verse 13, Salah. Therefore, thus said, other one, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Behold my servants, but in what time? In the time of Jacob's shovel. Yeah, we, Lord will keep us. We will have food. You are clothing. Alright, the Lord will protect you, but we will have to go through it. Behold my servants shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold my servants shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. Behold my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but he shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. The second is just chapter 16. And um, I read 
read from from 68 it says for behold the book because it's going into jacob's shovel for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot and for there shall be second is your 16 and 70 for there shall be in every place and the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord right the coming for me they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses then shall they be known who am I chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire but you have, you have camps like Nathan them saying we are not to go through and other people say not the church could be taken up before the troubles we had to go through troubles the elect will have to pass through the fire then who dies what we will go and know who for him and who not for him the hour temptation and dies the days that we coming into and we had to prepare ourselves mentally for them days. We had to have faith in the Lord. Immense faith. Because we want to be tried immensely. Faith beyond faith beyond comprehension. Faith faith beyond your normal understanding. You, you just like you just chop it in faith. If it if it's always to faith. If 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 even against the odds you see in it, like the odds are against you, say by the hell with the odds. I believe in what the Lord said. You understand? The hell with the odds. I believe in what Yahweh Hashem Yahushai said. At all costs. Esau could come with what? The Lord said he will keep me. Keep us safe. Because why? We serve him. And even if he, even if we have to die for his sake, he kept us safe. Alright? Because in our reincarnation, we will be safe. In life or in death, we safe. Once we serve any Hashem our shall. In life or in death, we safe. We good. We good. John verse seventy five says, "Be ye, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts," saith the Lord Power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. It have a lot of men who ain't going to make it in them days, and who left the truth, and who destitute of the truth of Yahweh Ba'asham Shai, and serving false ideologies and false gods now, who wasn't rooted and built up in the knowledge and in the faith of the Lord, who turned their back. As Lot's wife did to look back at Sodom, they turned their back, they turned their, they, they turned around to look back at this world. But this world is more than this Sodom and Gomorrah. They turned their back to look back at this world and try and figure out what they could get from this world. This world has absolutely nothing for you. This world is ended. The scriptures tell you that any book of, um, Um, Revelation, the Satan, Revelation 18, and you say Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the whole of every matter of fact. You know what? I will get at because Babylon is the United States of America. If you didn't know, United States of America is Babylon the Great. All right, that is Babylon the Great, Revelation 18 and 1. It says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with his strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. He says, It's fallen. You know, he didn't say it's falling. The angel already said, It's fallen. And look up the meaning of that word fallen come from the word pepto pep pepto
capital and it means um, a reduplicated and contracted form of pito which occurs only as an alternate in this in certain tenses probably akin to descend from a higher place to a lower see to be thrust down to fall either from or upon metaphorically to fall under judgment came under condemnation Babylon the great condemned to descend from an erect to a prostrate position Ooh. hey let me read out well it says to fall down to be prostrated to fall prostrate of those overcome by terror or astonishment or grief or under the attack of an evil spirit or falling dead suddenly Boom. the dismemberment of a corpse by decay you see Babylon the great <laughs> Babylon the great look 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 to perish i.e. to come to an end to disappear to cease to lose authority blood clot no longer have force Woo! to remove from power by death see yo <laughs> what more do you need to see all praises they have about Hashem Yahushai and he just say Babylon the great fallen it's fallen all right it fall it lost the authority over that it had over our people it lose the authority it's not in the same power see that it was in centuries ago it 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 weak and and, and it's going to get weaker and then it's going to cease from existing wiped off the face of the earth by so by nuclear missiles by and the chariots and of the heavenly father okay so we have none to fear where this place is concerned you so could come and try and and kill everybody but we have faith in the lord and faith is is is, is the most powerful weapon see see he saw he saw don't have he saw don't know about faith you don't know about faith he's a carnal man a carnal man is enmity against the heavenly father so you don't know about faith we know about faith faith is our faith it is waiting. See? It says Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. Devils meaning unclean spirits. Unclean spirits go be dwelling here. No. Um, the, the habitation of devils. Diamond, demon. Where you get the word demon from? A god, a goddess, an inferior, an inferior deity, whether good or bad, in the New Testament, an evil spirit. Yeah, that is, that is like, like a wasteland. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. But, but, but evil spirits. It says a demon. A supernatural spirit of a bad nature. Nothing, nothing else when we get it says and it become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. See? That is what America going to do. So that word devils they are not talking about either either no nobody when we dwelling in that land, no human being. Because Edom is the devil, but that devil they are not speaking about Edom. That devil they are talking about evil spirits. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. 
Yeah, they, they literal birds like Kobo and the Vulture and all of them different set of birds and Eagle all of them there, they're going to be there. You know? That that go be there that go be there um their dwelling place because nobody else is just like a dismal ghost town from being the most uppity up up city uh, up city country known to known to man. It could just become a, a wasteland. And we believe that. Let me, let me go into some precepts concerning faith because that is what we will need for that prophecy to come to pass the elect the elect will need to have faith within them because faith is what has destroyed systems faith is what has getting wicked vets it always did when the wicked the wicked broke our faith and he brought us into captivity that way he was targeting our belief in the Lord because he played more than anything is mind games he was playing on me mind games tricks sorcery within the mind trying to teach we a lie so that we wouldn't believe in power because he don't want me to believe in power you know, once we believe in the power, that is it if we break, we try to break with belief. This is book of Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See? The proof of things that you can't see, that is faith. It says, For by it the elders obtain the good report. It says, Through faith, we understand that the world's were framed by the word of the most high so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear right idols cannot then make this world no idol what is the things that are seen things that natural like yeah you get a tree you the sun the moon the stars you have human beings birds fish all the, all the big in the beginning in the creation the waters work um, in the sea uh, um, the sun, the shore, the sea. All these different set of things. The creeping thing, the, the flying things. All these things, right? They were not made of things which newly came up. Like, a, like some that now appear on the earth. Like an idol. We know that no idol couldn't do that. But that is only true faith. And you see, not all men have that. To that why people that worship idols. It says, By faith Abel offered unto the most high more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, the most high testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh it said, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because the most had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the most high, he says, but without faith. And this is what Esau knew. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Esau knew that, so he tried. He attacked our belief in the Lord over here on this side. Evil spirits, that way scripture says that you are still not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the darkness of the rulers of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places he attacked with faith and that is what that is what going on be tested heavily in the days to come you believe how much you believe in you Lord how much you believe in your Hashem because you see it's not your mind more than anything is your mind he is your mind he attract he after you know after your body once you could get in your head, you control your whole body because it's the head that is controlling the body. He wants your mind. He wants to break your belief structure in your how about shame or shame you can doubt. But we just read don't doubt. We just read not to doubt, right? We just read that. We just read you just read not to doubt. Don't know. Okay?
It says, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe. You have to believe that he is Yahweh. He exists. You must believe that Yahweh. That is his name. I can't get the internet because I get in a call. I don't want nobody to harass me. Right? And that is a reward of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being warned of the Mosai of things not yet seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an act to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Oh, no, I could go no, I find out. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he shall re after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not he went out not knowing whether he went. See, all these things by is by faith, 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 faith. And in verse 13 it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed. That they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And if if you confess that you are a stranger and a pilgrim on the earth, you gotta to prove that when the Lord returns, before the Lord returns, and Jacob shall come, the mark of the beast, the RFID the microchip which is coming, that is coming. You saw go and bring that for sure he bringing that. You saw bring in a mark, mark of the beast microchip for sure he bringing that. When that come and and he saw bring that and and and, and you you're getting tried and your children hungry, right? If you wanna show it's a stranger and a pilgrim, F this world and you just turn your back and you go on and you do what you have to do to serve the Lord and make sure the Lord please. Because this world can please you. And serving this world can please the Heavenly Father. Okay. Yeah, let's try and make sure you have a bashami or shy pleased with you at the end of the day because we want a place to go and rest. This is verse 14 says, For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better country that is unheavenly. Therefore the Moses is not ashamed to be called their power, for he had prepared for them a city. You understand? If it is we did study in where we did come out from, which is this world, we'd have returned to this world, but we didn't study in this world. This world have no part in us. This world ain't taking root in me again. And that's why we had to pray and beg the Lord to make sure we remain in that spirit. Because it's easy for the Lord to take you out of that spirit. All right, but because we say we desire a better place than here, some from heaven, that, that place going back to the promise which Abraham received, the Lord wouldn't be ashamed to call me to for we to say that I'm a you know, you know, ashamed that we are again. He say, yeah, that I'm a children because why they believe in me, and because of that, He will give us the, the kingdom. So we have to have faith to receive the kingdom. Right? You can't receive the kingdom doubting and in disbelief. You have to believe. The scripture says, I believe, therefore have I spoken and I was greatly afflicted. You will be afflicted, but fuck the affliction. The affliction is a small thing. Kingdom more important than afflictions. Wherever we get in flesh, that is small thing. The, the Apostle Paul said, I'll read this last piece of and close out. This is <coughs> Second Corinthians 6 and 1. It says, we, <coughs> we then as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of sal salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed verse 4 
but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, licks, in imprisonment, Revelation 2 and 10, the holy devil shall cast some of you into prison 10 days. They will receive term, tribulation 10 days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, roughly paraphrasing. In imprisonment, in tumults, in labors, workings, in watchings, in fastings, right? Watching for the prophecies and fastings, it says, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth. By the power of the Most High, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by the dis by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, and behold, we live as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing. And yet possessing all things. Right? So yeah, with that I give all praise to Abba Basham Yao Shai, Basham Kakodash. And hopefully I've been edified. Till the next time, Shalom. Till the elect.